I even start? How about from the beginning? Getting the chance to meet some of you guys. That was just plain awesome. Being able to share stories and hear about your, you know, the warning experiences from, you know, prior shows. It's just so cool. I can't express how excited I was. It's just all bundled up inside. <laughs> As we're waiting in line to get in. And then, and then the meet and greets go in. Unfortunately, I was a little slow on getting that ticket and I missed out. But then we finally get to go in and we grab a drink. We head straight to the merch table. I get a brand new t-shirt. Awesome. Now, how cool is it to have Holy Wars and Plush open up for the warning? Wasn't that just super badass? Holy Wars is definitely a different style. But they grow on you real fast. And plush. Yeah. Plush is pretty cool. Great music. And that lead singer can sing. Without a doubt. It was super cool seeing the warning army showing, you know, love and support to Holy Wars and plush. And of course, when the warning did eventually get on stage, which was hugely anticipated, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, the crowd just erupted. And, you know, there's no video that gives the music or the crowd any justice at all. Um, it, it was just a Super cool time. You know, the warning gets on stage. And all you feel is Pow's drum beat. Allie's bass. And then you hear Danny in her freaking cool guitar. The tone of it. Man. It's just so hard to explain the feeling. But if you've been there, you know. You know how it feels. The excitement that's in the air and, and you know, the energy of the crowd. It's just overall a just amazing feeling. Getting to hear Psychotic live was a dream come true. The feeling that I got inside me. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to feel that again. I can't believe it got picked twice. And at the show I was going to... Deep down, I think that every card that was in that bucket or that jar said psychotic on it. How cool would that be? <laughs> and having the chance to see the warning at this specific venue, the observatory, a venue that I have played at least four times. Opening up for Skid Row, Quiet Riot, OTEP, um, LA Guns. Getting to see them there was just mind-blowing. It's just the, the sound quality in that venue ever since they've remodeled it. Yep. Yep. 
getting the chance to see all of Pal's facial expressions and Ali's, uh, you know, stage uh, moves and Danny's emotion and, and, and hearing it in the vocals and her facial expressions herself. That's just, it's mind boggling being able to see that live and actually experience it and feel the songs and feel the music all throughout my body. It's so hard to describe. I've been to plenty of shows, small venues, big venues. Luckily, this was a fairly small venue. And being able to have the chance to see them there, not at a festival, not when they're opening up for somebody else. This is 100% the warning show. Their mix, their lighting, they could do whatever they want because they are headlining. Being able to see them there like that, I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to do that again. Because these ladies are, they're going somewhere. The warning team as a whole is going somewhere. And they're going fast. Anyways, I had a great time. I know my friends there had a great time. And I'm sure you've had a great time watching all the videos. And seeing them at the shows that you're going to. Or will be going to. I hope to see you at a future show. I'd like to share my story. Although I'm kind of doing it now, but it's not the full story. It's just a short version. I think I still have to do another TED Talk. The first one. Let me know if you want to see that. I want to see it. So I might as well share it with you. Alright. Until next time. Stay cheesy, my friends.